So, welcome back to the channel. On the subject of Marui MWS magazines, uh, the best magazine for your gun is the Marui MWS magazine. There's a few companies that came out with magazines like the Ace One Arms, the Iron Airsoft, which, oh my God, avoid that magazine like the Plague. There's the Pro in ones, which I've seen people have issues with. Those different magazines. Um, but the Marui MWS magazine has always been the best magazine to use. Until Guns Modify brought out a PMAG. Uh, and I have had nothing but huge success with these Guns Modify PMAGs. And you'll, I'm sure you'll agree, they look fantastic. They're also a hell of a lot lighter. Um, and they seem to not get as cold as the Marui ones because the Marui ones are made of metal. These have like a polymer casing and a metal insert. There's also a system inside which I pay no attention to whatsoever. But um, it's got like a sticker on there so you can see at the moment the magazine is about 18 degrees. I'm reading that if that's correct. I don't know if, uh, if I warm this up whether that's how it works. I'm guessing so, so it changes. So yeah, it's got that little feature on there. Whether you're bothered by that is neither here or there. They can be a bit quirky to fill. Um, and I have had a couple of them start leaking if I've left them ungassed. I'll be doing a guide on the Guns Modified PMAG on how to uh, uh, service them. So it's uh, straightforward, but it is a bit finicky. Uh, and then I came across this, which came in a little friendly transaction um, with a friend of mine. And it also says on here, so it's the GK Tactical MWS M4 drum magazine. It's also got a thing there for AK series, so Marie MWS AR, and AK series, so I'm not sure if they'll be doing an AK one. It's a 400 round Shanglian mag. <laughs> no idea what that's supposed to mean. Gas light system, lower than 14 kilograms gas power. And this is the magazine. So it is what it pretty much what it says in the tin. It is a drum magazine for the Marui MWS. Um, we get a window. So I imagine that goes in the back there. I'm not really sure what that's for. It doesn't say anything on the box what it's for. Um, so you get an Allen key. That'll be a... Uh, pointed out why that's important in a moment and then we get something there so perhaps I don't know you could put something behind there and you can slot that in and it makes it easier to identify I don't know but it's based on a PMAG it's like a, a PMAG-esque style drum mag and you have a hole on the right hand side which it comes with an allen key so you insert this and it's got like a normal style clockwork magazine in there, if I can prop it in there properly. And we turn this anti-clockwise and we can wind the magazine up. The gas port is found on the back here. Do we have any gas in it? I think there's a bit of gas in it. Um, and then we can pop these tabs off. So first of all, if we pop the one, so if you're looking at the magazine like this, you wanna pop this one off here. If we pop that tab off, this is where you'll fill it with BBs. It holds 400 rounds. The latch on the front does nothing. It would have been cool if there was a bit more of an intuitive way to fill it and not having to take this off because these tabs can be a bit of a pain to get off. So you pop that off, you fill it. Once it's full, you put your Allen key in there and you wind it. Obviously, downside to that is um, if the wind runs out, which I'm not sure if it will, um, to be honest, if you're shooting 400 rounds out of this thing, I'd be very impressed. I don't think you'd get 400 shots out of this drum mag, but it's basically just a way to provide you a bit more ammo. If you get a few hundred rounds out of it, then happy days. It's just a different type of magazine. Um, you pr pretty much could probably HPA tap this quite easily, which I'll show you in just a second. So if we tap, if we pop the tabs on every corner like this, we could take the back plate off. It's just a simple plastic back plate there. You can see the clockwork mechanism for the magazine. It's literally just an adaptation of a, of a high cap magazine. So spares might be easy to come by. And then you've, if you look down the bottom there, you've got a feed tube which goes into the slot with the magazine. Of course, you're not gonna have bolt hold open on empty um, for obvious reasons. 
and then you've got this huge aluminium block here which is your gas tank and the way it fills is actually really weird because you, your fill ports up here so you fill the gas in here and then the liquid transfers to this it's uh I don't know it seems a bit daft to me so if we drop the front fascia off there it's two bolts obviously holding the two halves together I mean you can see a bit of the uh the liquid there is it gonna maybe not so a bit of the liquid gas now if you've seen that on the on the camera um let's give the valve a tap So there's a tiny bit, you're not going to be able to see it because I'm having to tip it. There's a tiny bit of gas in there. Only a very small amount. Um, so that's very much straightforward on how it works. So it's easy to take apart. It's easy to put back together. Um, it's fairly easy to fill it and wind it. I would have preferred some kind of like twister just so you can do it on the fly because if your clockwork mechanism runs out or you get like a bad feed of the bbs and you have to give it a bit of a shake you're going to have to have a tool on you so i suggest if you're running this magazine you have a little allen key maybe get one of these allen keys on like a, a thing like this what size is it that's a 2.5 where's the three it's a three mil yeah it's a three mil so you might be better off with something like this and a handle in your gear and you can take that out put it in there and very quickly wind it and uh see what it looks like in a rifle shall we so just picking up a random mws here so we've got the standard mag let's get this out of the way Standard Marie MWS magazine. They do have a bit of wobble in them every now and again. It's normal. What I find is with the P mags is they uh, they do they're a bit more of a solid fit. They don't really wobble in the guns. They're a lot more quieter if you're looking for that. But they don't always drop under their own weight. This one obviously will. But I do have a few there that just require just the slightest of uh, of help to remove them. So we have the P mag, and then we've got the GK drum mag and these do require a bit oh that one went straight in some in my other guns like my m733 it does require a bit of a tap and now you have a marui let's check it's clear i believe it is let's make sure with the drum mag it's got hardly any gas in there and this, this thing done off chug so, and I've only got a little squirt of green gas in there, it's not propane. The Guns Modified PMAGs are a lot more punchy than all the others. Have we got any gas in this mag? So what I find with the Marui MWS mags and the P mags is rate of fire wise they're pretty much the same. Maybe the P mag has a little bit when it's fully charged because this one's got hardened gas in it. Uh, but on semi-auto the P mags are a lot more punchy than the MWS mags. So they might have a slightly higher flow uh, valve in them. But this seems to chug along pretty good. I'm going to do a test. So I'll be doing another video where I fill it up with uh, gas, make sure it's completely full. I'll bring it up to room temperature first, just, you know, as a fair test. Um, and we'll see how many rounds this thing can do. Um, it's quite a bit of uh, where to put on your rifle, 400 rounds in one go, but we'll, we've got some spares, so we'll give it a give it a try. But this is the overview of the GK Tactical Drum Mag for the Marie MWS series. What do you think? Is it a bit bulky? It's not too big, to be honest. You could have it in, like, a dump pouch. Um, perhaps applications for this. A lot, of, a lot of milsim games, they're not going to allow you to use this. But however, let's say you've got your milsim mags here, your MWS and your P mags, and that's what you use for your weekend events 
or your normal sort of less trigger happy games shall we say absolutely perfect you've got a few of them however you your buddies are going to a site it's a bit of a splat fest um or let's say it's a more of a target rich close quarter environment um and you need something that's just going to last a little bit longer without having to go through tons and tons of magazines keep filling them you could carry a couple of those in your vest and then just have this as a as a you know get yourself out of the shit mag or a bit of a bush wanker mag but um for when people are camping in bushes slap this bad boy in flick it to full auto and let it rip and uh slot that camper that's in the bush so hope you like it if any of you know what that's for i presume it's just for this thing at the back here other than that i really don't have much of an idea it's just a solid bit of perspex i don't know you tell me maybe put a bit of paper in there or something can slot into place i really don't get it but uh thanks for tuning in see you in the next video if you want to see more mws comment uh content put it in the comments down below um i'm hoping to get a bit more bits and pieces for the mws on the channel because i do have a lot of mws's um and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.